Hello, I'm going to show you a little trick with the new Komodo Personal Free Firewall. It has a feature built in where you can run programs inside of a sandbox so that whatever the program does, it won't harm the system. So if I right click on this program here, run in Komodo Sandbox, click that. You'll see it has a green outline and that shows you that this is isolated from the system and whatever happens with this program it won't damage the system and it can easily be removed by going to sandbox tasks and hitting reset sandbox it will totally erase all the content anything that was ever done inside of the sandbox that's fine but what about if you've got something that needs to be installed to be tested first like perhaps you have a bunch of software that's got like trials on it, 15 day trial of this, 30 day trial of that, and you install it and it bundles with who knows what else. You end up, you've got three Google toolbars and a something or other. So you can right click also on this installer and run the installer inside of the sandbox. So let's go ahead and do that. You saw that I left the desktop icon enabled. Uh, that'll come into uh, a little equation soon. All right. So now I've installed it inside the sandbox. So what do I do now? I mean, when I go here to programs, it's not in there. There's no mention of Audacity anywhere in this list. Well, if we go onto the main screen, you should see here virtual kiosk. Or if it doesn't show up there, you'll find it in sandbox tasks run virtual kiosk. So let's click that. And now we see this. This is because it's been run for the first time. Now, you can click this and to toggle between the desktop and this tablet friendly screen but if you click kiosk go to settings you can put it on classic mode and you'll just see a normal looking desktop now here you can see there's the shortcut for what we just installed so if I double click on that here loads up audacity and since this is isolated it's only one click away from being disappeared forever and it never touched the real computer to begin with. But what happens if there wasn't an option during the install to be able to have a desktop icon? There is no normal looking start menu here, so what do we do? Well here's what I've figured out. If you click on your start menu, right click on all programs and hit open. This is one of two areas where your start menu icons are. So if I click on Windows and I'll make a shortcut to this start menu folder on the desktop and I'll call this oh, normal start menu. Okay, close that. Now do it again, right click on all programs and this time click on open all users and do the same thing, click on windows, right click drag onto the desktop create shortcut and this time I'm going to call this one all start menu. Okay, so now when I go to the virtual kiosk we now have these icons here. So if I now click on normal start menu, I can have a look. Well, there's no mention of audacity in there. Have a look at all start menu. Click programs. Oh, there's audacity. Because since this kiosk is giving you a representation of the virtual environment, which is the sandbox, when you check the folder, 
inside of this sandbox it looks like audacity is really installed for real so we're able to just double click that as if it was on the real system itself so we could experiment with this and test it out and see if we like it or not and then when we're done we could just hit reset sandbox and it's permanently gone forever erase changes removes content of the sandbox that's all you have to do to get rid of it so all these 30 day trial this and that that gives you more toolbars than you need you never had it on your system to begin with because it was all self-contained in the sandbox so that's how you can install software into the sandbox and be able to run it inside the sandbox as well with the new version of Komodo Personal Free Firewall. Now it's resetting the sandbox. It can take anywhere from seconds to a couple minutes. Now you can see that it's been successfully reset. So now it doesn't exist, never existed. So now if I click Run Virtual Kiosk, It looks like the very first time we ran it. Click here to get to the desktop. There's no Audacity shortcut. If I click here, go to settings, classic mode. See, there's no Audacity shortcut there. Nothing was ever installed. It's completely missing. So that's how you do it.